hi friends welcome back so in this video i will be discussing some of the important uh, real issues or problems whenever you are trying to perform integration testing this kind of questions they normally ask in any software testing interview so i'll be discussing or i'll be covering up around 20 real issues that you may face in integration testing the number one issue which we normally face is hurdle availability sometimes what happens when whenever we wanted to perform a integrations where not all models will be available for uh, testing that is a real issues we normally face because of the models are not available it may happen that we may delay some of the testing activities as well because of uh, non-availability or incomplete models it may happen that uh, things might things might get delayed while performing uh, integration issues. And the second uh, issue which we normally face during integration testing is dependency conflicts. The dependency conflicts is nothing but there is an incompatibility, the incompatibility between two models or different models or a component that can also lead to integration failures where uh, whenever we're trying to connect two models let's say when i were trying to connect a payment uh, model for a banking application it may happen that uh, those models are not compatible those models are not compatible enough to integrate uh, those models maybe parameters are missing or uh, data types are missing or it's not uh, mapping one to one because of that, uh, it may happen that uh, there is a conflict uh, in the compatibility. And the next uh, type of uh, integration which we face is uh, missing or incomplete interfaces. There, it may happen that uh, wherever we are trying to do a integration testing, it may happen that certain interfaces are uh, missing where we wanted to uh, test between the models because of that uh, it may happen that integration testing might uh, get into challenges and the next type of uh, issues which we normally face is uh, miscommunication between the teams because whenever we wanted to do integration testing we may be talking to various different uh, teams because we wanted to get uh, models available for performing the testing when there is a particular models are not available because of uh, the miscommunication that time also will get into major issues uh, on this integration testing and the next one is even inadequate documentation is also very key uh, sometimes what happens if documentations are not proper our testers are not able to clearly and understand or clearly articulate the overall integration topics and because of that they are not able to come up with the right test cases because of that as well we may get into more challenges um, on integration testing the next thing is even there are certain external systems are getting changed more often when they're getting changed or uh, apis getting changed uh, because of that even we get into uh, integration problems and the next one is failure to handle edge, ca edge cases edge cases is nothing but uh, it's a neg negative cases or a boundary conditions where whenever we try to test the integration uh, aspects uh, by considering uh, all edge cases not just positive if we just consider edge cases as well we may see bigger issues uh, whenever we try to perform uh, integration by using uh, edge cases and the next kind of uh, issues which we normally is uh, the data management is also very crucial especially while performing any kind of testing test data is very crucial if test data is not managed effectively we may see a lot of challenges uh, in uh, integration testing results because of incorrect or missing test data that can lead to various uh, different challenges and the next one is concurrency issues as well concurrency issues are nothing but when multiple modules are trying to access the commonly available uh, shared resources let's say two modules are trying to access the a particular uh, data in from the database 
then we get into a challenges in terms of concurrency issues where it is not able to handle the concurrent see problems uh, whenever we are trying to access uh, a particular data by any of these multiple uh, modules while performing integration testing and the next type of uh, challenges which we normally face is uh, inconsistency in uh, coding standard as well if you are not followed a uh, right coding standards uh, while developing the application even that can leads to integration problems because when there is no coding standard, when there is no consistency in the coding, definitely whenever we are trying to test multiple modules, we may get into issues. The next one is overlapping functionality as well. Model may have overlapping functionalities because one module may provide some X features. Another model also going to provide the X plus some features that may create lot of conflicts uh, while doing during uh, integration because both trying to solve the same problem and the next type of uh, issue which we normally face is unpredictable data flow sometime uh, we are uh, not able to expect a particular things whenever we are trying to send the data from one module to another where uh, you may see unknown things as well if you see any unknown things uh, or unexpected data flow during uh, testing between models we may get into this kind of uh, data flow issues as well and the next one is lack of error handling is also one of the key in any integration testing because if you are not able to properly message out uh, error things to the user properly then we may get into issues because every error or every message if we get into whenever we are trying to do integration testing then uh, you should handle it gracefully and you should throw a right error messages or right exception messages uh, for handling uh, different kinds of errors if you are not managed it properly then uh, we may anticipate uh, very unexpected behavior during integration testing and the next type of issue which we normally face is inadequate logging or debugging mechanism especially whenever we're trying to do integration testing we morely concentrating on not on the ui perspective we'll be checking on the logs or uh, debugging mechanism whenever we are not able to handle this logging and debugging mechanism definitely that would uh, enter the identification of integration issues. The next type of issue which we normally face is incompatibility technologies or framework. Especially, let's say Microsoft uh, technology we are not able to handle with the iOS technology or Unix technology. Because of that, uh, also we may get into various challenges. When uh, there is a mismatch uh, in the implementation of these technologies from the different platforms and we are trying to integrate and we try to perform testing, even those uh, issues also may pop up uh, whenever we are performing integration testing. And the resource constraints as well. Whenever we are performing integration testing, it may happen that uh, resources such as uh, memory cpu network bandwidth can also create integration problems when when there are no enough uh, available resources for testing uh, various models if there is a resource constraints available then definitely we get into more challenges and lack of compatibility testing as well especially if you're trying to ignore the compatibility of different platforms browsers devices can also create integration issues and even if you are not using uh, appropriate uh, testing tool for integration testing can also create problems because we cannot test everything uh, manually we should use tools as well to perform integration testing if you are not use the right testing tool for integration you may get into a bigger challenges as well and the next one is inception test coverage where uh, we are not able to execute each and every possible scenarios of integration um, for uh, any of these uh, integration testing 
sometime it may happen that uh, some of the scenarios we may require to miss because of uh, time constraint or various other constraints even that time also we get into this integration testing challenges and as well as uh, sometime we will be more focusing on only the functional aspect and we may ignore the non-functional aspects uh, non-functional such as uh, performance security usability aspects if you ignore especially on the integration issues then uh, we may get into a bigger challenges hence it is always uh, good to plan properly for uh, non-functional test as well while performing uh, integration testing so these are the some of the key integration issues which we normally face whenever we are trying to perform integration testing if you just keep these issues in mind and how to tackle these issues then definitely we can avoid uh, these integration testing issues uh, in near future